I recently did a poll on whether you agreed with the reboot and many of you have responded that you do agree with the reboot. This is a pretty big deal because sometimes the people who are against something are the most vocal and loudest on social media. This creates a false perception that fans don't want the reboot, but when you take a vote then you realize that the majority of fans do want the reboot. So, the question we should ask ourselves first is, why do these people not want the reboot? The reality is that many people have a hard time letting go of things they have known all their lives and have a hard time accepting change. It's like when you've lived your whole life in the same house and after 30 years you have to move. That change is very big and difficult for some people, although for others it is very pleasant. Fear of change is something very common and that usually happens because they are afraid of failure. When people undergo any change, they know that there is a percentage that they may fail in the new path and that is why they prefer to stay in the safe place thinking that they will not fail there. This is false because if you stay in the same place without making changes, then you also have a high percentage of failure. Life is changing with time. The world is always changing and if we do not change with that then we will end up in failure. This same thing has happened with all entertainment, not only with television, but also in music, sports, and art. The simplest example I can give you is music since it is one of the things that has changed the most with technology and all the artists have had to modify everything little by little. All artists who resisted change have failed and it is impossible to stay in the past to be successful. In order to listen to music, you had to have players of different formats such as CD and MP3 players. This is the most recent because before all that there were other things that I will not even mention in this video because in each country they have different names, but the important thing is to know that before there were no digital platforms. To listen to your favorite song, you had to buy the whole album when it was in CD format and when it was in MP3 then you could buy only the song because that was the birth of digital music. Nowadays you just look for platforms like Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, and many others, and search for your favorite song. Even now it is very easy to create your favorite playlist to create your own mixes and there you can put hundreds of songs but before this was very complicated. I know all of this doesn't seem to have any relation to Power Rangers, but it really does have a lot of relation since this is still a TV show and TV is still a changing technology. It's also still a business and even though many of us think that the story of the show is to blame, the reality is that there are many other things behind all of that. Why did Power Rangers start to fail if they were using the same format from 1993? Why did it all work in 1993 and now it doesn't work anymore even though they are using the same elements or even better ones? The answer to those questions is in everything I have told you before with the music business and it is that in the TV industry everything has changed as well. Because of all these changes is that there are many TV shows that need a reboot and right now the programs for the children's audience are the most that has changed during all this time. This is not something new, in the times of our grandparents children were also entertained in other ways and there are things that died because of all the change that took place. For example, before the 90s, very few people had television, so kids played a lot outside their home and this made sports grow. When video games came along this all changed because from then on, a lot of kids became interested in those video games and abandoned sports. Even now if you go to the parks, you will notice that they are almost always empty and this is due to the fact that there is a lot of entertainment at home. Unfortunately, this entertainment does not include regular television because for many people this represents a big disadvantage. For example, if you want to watch a series on regular television, then you have to wait for the day and time it premieres in order to watch it. If on that day and at that time you had to do something else, 
then you will not be able to watch that episode and the problem of missing an episode is that you will not want to watch the other episodes because you will be lost. This is a big disadvantage for regular television and to this we must add all the advertising that we have to swallow obligatorily. In digital platforms these disadvantages do not exist because if you want to watch a series you only have to search for it and you can watch all the episodes you want. In addition to this, you can pause what you are watching to go to the bathroom, get food, or simply answer a call. Kids nowadays don't understand regular TV because they know that there are digital platforms, including YouTube, where you don't have to wait to watch what you want. Because of this, if you play a regular TV show to a child, they won't want to watch it as they are not going to have the patience to wait for all the commercials or they won't understand that they have to wait until a certain day at a certain time to be able to watch their favorite show. These are things that were normal for kids in the 90s, but for today's generation this is unnecessary because there are so many options to choose from when it comes to entertainment. I say it this way since right now YouTube has become one of the platforms with the most entertainment for the child audience since there are many YouTubers creating content, but this content is not series or movies, it doesn't even have a name. They are random videos that do not follow a format and are not connected. This must be this way since YouTube is a very different platform where you go in, and you have many different videos to choose from. This is why it is very difficult to have a series on YouTube where different videos are connected, and we have seen this on this channel with the narrated comic videos. What does all this have to do with the Power Rangers reboot? This is very simple, children can no longer be the target to which the series is directed since they are looking for content like YouTube in which they should not follow a story. This is the reality we live in now, the child audience has changed their tastes and shows like Power Rangers are no longer as interesting to them. This doesn't mean that no child likes Power Rangers, but in order to keep a TV series you need many people interested in the content and right now most of them are adults. The other side of the coin is that children's audiences have changed, but adults have changed too. If you are an adult, you may remember that your parents or grandparents liked soap operas, game shows, and news programs. Adults nowadays like science fiction, superheroes, series, and they always try to stay away from news programs because they are always giving bad news. Right now, this is the audience Power Rangers can target as they are the ones who are wanting to watch superhero series, but for this they need to make a drastic change. Power Rangers has a lot of potential, but it is something that was created for a child audience and that is why they should modify it so that adults can enjoy it better. If right now we adults enjoy it a lot, imagine how much we can enjoy it if they give us more adult stories, more serious special effects, more drama, more action, and deeper themes. Write in the comments what you think about the reboot, like this video and subscribe to keep changing the world of Power Rangers.